All right, in this video, we are going to find out, did X-Man Rico really say some derogatory things against the Gangster Disciple Nation? Or is there just some jealousy going on from his accusers? Now, I want to add this in because I didn't add it in the video, so I need to put this in here somewhere. If, in fact, you were the one that was supposedly going to be doing all the work on Big Dale's documentary that, mind you, was already almost completely finished, then that would mean that you own some kind of patent or copyright to that footage and that documentary. I'll say two things. One, there's people interested in purchasing it. Two... If that were the case, then why haven't you stopped people like Chris Barnes from mutilating the thumbnail that Dale himself created to be the picture of his documentary? I want to know that because I find it insulting every single time I see it. And now that I've said that out loud, I'm sure Christina's going to put it up more often. But I'm just saying, if that's the case, why haven't you? As y'all know, I had a few words for Truth Teller. Then I get a call from X-Man Rico. He had a lot to say. I don't even know him or blogged about him. The only thing I've ever said is that he looked like Yoda. And that was two years ago. So you said something about him. He said he was terrified and don't trust no GDs. I was like, damn, bro, for real? So I went and looked on his page. He don't have no GDs up. Then he's sitting on there with Truth Teller. So I know Truth Teller, his buddy. You know what I'm saying? Truth Teller, not GD. Now, I heard, when I heard Ghetto DVD say that, I had to come to X-Man Rico's catalog. Because it's like, I know I've heard, I've seen, I've watched plenty of GDs on his platform. So I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to scroll his catalog and you can look for yourself. Now that was his lives. Now let's scroll through his videos. And yes, I did speed this up like 400 times because otherwise it was going to be like 10 minutes of just scrolling through his catalog. Damn, X-Man, I didn't know you had that much content. But I think, if I'm correct, I saw Truth Teller on two thumbnails. Oh, my God. 
But I'm like, dude, you say that to me. But when it's time for you to chase clout off the GDs, that's the first, you want a fucking whole documentary about the gangster disciples. But you tell me you, you terrified and you don't trust no GDs, but you hopped on a whole documentary about some GDs, bro. Now, you know what it sounds like to me is some jealousy. Because X-Man Rico's not a GD. And yet he was asked to be a part of the documentary. But there were a whole lot of other folks that was a part of that documentary that were not GDs. And I don't see you attacking them. At least not so far. However, I will say this. If you look off to the right hand side over here. You'll see some DMs. And if you look in the middle here, this is X-Man Rico telling me, no, please include the DMs. You can play what I said to him. Just don't leave out how we agreed to fight and he a no-show. Because off on the right-hand side, it says, you definitely did not hold back on saying I was drunk and messed up see hoods interview you don't know me and need to watch your mouth when addressing me but I'm not tripping on small shit just watch your mouth because I can see from this you don't want no smoke and then there's an audio and X-Men says bring your ass bro your ass is old ass drunk you a fucking cluck your hips not good enough to rumble with me, old man. I'll break your drunk ass down. He says, let's set up a fight, dude. I'll beat your ass. Now, yes, at the end of this video, I will be playing the entire DMs that was sent to me by X-Man Rico. And we'll see. Did X-Man really say he was scared and terrified of the GDs and didn't trust any of them? Or is that just how Ghetto DVD does his investigations and reports back to the people? So Ghetto claims he did some further investigation. And he, he says, Drea and Rico sitting there laughing and shit. And Big Dale had just passed and I was the last person to work with him. I was going to do all the work on his documentary. Let me pause this right here. Now, I got to say this. I didn't say a whole lot while Dale was still with us about our conversations. And yes, I got to have to give Ghetto DVD a little bit of credit because Dale did tell me that he was considering doing some work with him, allowing him do, to do some recording, some videography. But Dale... I want to say six weeks to eight weeks, something. I don't know. It was a while before his passing. Had already told me that 80% of his documentary was already recorded and ready to go. So you were not going to be the one making his documentary. It was already at least 80% complete when we had our conversation months before he passed. And you can't take that from Dale. He did that without you. And that's a fight I don't have a bone in. So you can't call me out and say I'm a liar on that. Because I've always known that. Okay, I'm having to add this in here. Because I've been corrected. You can see this conversation I'm fixing to share with you. Took place January 17th of this year at 11.06 a.m. Drilly had responded. Responded to me and he said Dale was setting up for May. He needed to get some more female perspective and it was a wrap. Now if you want to pause this and read the screenshots of the conversation that he sent me between him and Big Dale, feel free to go ahead and do so at this time. But no, the recording of the documentary had already been complete for the most part. You go on to say, I'm guessing that I feel deep down inside that X-Men said something to Drea O. Something like what? It doesn't make sense. You think that he put a bug in her ear to blackball the GDs? That's crazy. She don't have control over that. 
So I, I just I just found it odd that he was on a documentary, but he come to find out he said he don't trust no GDs or whatever. I never asked to work with you. You called me talking shit and giving your opinion and all that shit because I checked your ass on with that comment you left on my page. I'm doing an investigation of who blackballing the GD. Y'all don't even know who sent me to do this shit. Then you say X-Men is blackballing GDs behind closed doors. I know for a fact that Drea O asked him about me. Because I was the last one working with Big so Dale. I'm believing it like that, man. I'm going to come back to this part three of my investigation who was doing a black walk. Please. I'm not holding back. If I feel like you blackballing TDs, you will be up on this saga. I swear to God, G. I swear to God, folks. Now, I'm pretty sure we all know the definition of blackballing, but I'm going to read it anyway. In music, blackballed can mean that a musician is on a blacklist, which is a list of people that the industry professionals don't want to work with. The term blackballed generally means to reject, ban, or unfairly prevent someone from joining an organization or participating in something. Synonyms of blackballed include dismissed, refused, vetoed, and nixed. Now, so you're telling me x man Rico has enough status and clout in the music industry. Andrea O as well, that he put a bug in her ear by whispering something because they were Kiki and Kaka on their interview. And with that, the GDs have been blackballed. Because you're absolutely sure that she asked him about you. I'm just wondering why she would ask him about you when you two don't even collaborate or anything together whatsoever. Now, I did that same interview with the both of them about Big Dale. Now what? You gonna say something about me too? Hey yo Rico, you got that kind of influence. Throw some influence on my channel please. <laughs> I've been here longer than all of y'all. <laughs> all right, so X-Men scrolls to the top of what he wants to show me and he Ghetto DVD says for him to go comment on his truth teller gets extorted in Chicago. And X-Men says, I don't do the blogger beef, my boy. I have to sit this one out respectfully. And then this is where the audio is going to kick in. Bro, you was an old ass, goofy ass bitch, bro. You, you, what you want to do, bro? Your ass balding, bro. Your hairline so far back, you got more room to think, you stupid ass nigga, bro. You don't want no smoke with me. You 40 years old, bro. You have nobody behind you. You is a drunk fucking goofy. You a fucking cluck, gang. You a hype. And then you don't want he no says, smoke with me uh, nobody, bro. You, let's you, set up a fight, bro. You a 50 old GD it looks claiming like you still with that shit, bro. X-Men called pick up your pipe and him do something, nigga. at 11.06 until 11.10. Four minute phone call. Ghetto says 3 p.m. bet. Rico says stop wolfing gang before be careful this not the old school no more. He's ghetto says three o'clock. I'm not trying to talk. Rico says say less. Send the info. Don't be by yourself. This is 2024. I don't trust none of y'all. Now me personally I would not take that as him saying that he don't trust the GDs. But some folks try to twist things to their own narrative as we see across social media every day. So Ghetto comes back and says, say you don't trust the GDs. X-Men says, I fuck with the GDs, bro. You just woke up over goofy today. All I said was leave me out of it and you went all drunk uncle on me. Ghetto says, fuck you and truth teller. X-Men says, don't make this about gangs. This about us. Okay, bro, fuck us. Ghetto says 3 o'clock. Rico says say less. And then Ghetto starts putting up some memes, it appears to be. 
which Rico's response is laughing emoji saying, say less. I'm fixing to go get my bottle too. Ghetto puts a laughing emoji and puts up another little reel, I guess it is. So, you decide. Let me know in the comments. Was that Rico saying what Ghetto claimed he said? Or did it sound more like some hate and jealousy type stuff? But hey, Rico, shout out for being asked to make the documentary. You did a good job. I enjoyed it.